so I thought what we would do today is go over some Nikaya nibs. Iwana Cell from um, uh, Madrid was kind enough to lend me this set of testers, five Nikaya testers. Now before you get all excited and want to buy this, this is just a tester, so it's raw ebonite. Um, but it's it's quite nice. It has that ebonite smell, uh, and as you can see, it's clearly labeled what it is. So I mean, it's it's not a pen that you buy as such. It's just for testing purposes. So thank you to Iwana Cell for lending me this. I think uh, this is interesting to a lot of people because you don't get to try out all these Nikaya nibs every day. So I thought we would just have a look. Here is just some uh, Rhodia paper. This is uh, uh, pens. The the nibs will be dipped because not all of them have converters, so bear with me, okay? Let's start with the elastic flexible fine. So the elastic fine has these cutouts, uh, which are supposed to make the nib uh, more, more flexible, and that works pretty well. The ink I'm using is Kandash Saffron, okay? So here we go with... I'm not going to write Nikaya every time. Elastic fine. You hear there's quite some feedback. There is some feedback. Uh, you can write with this, of course, in a normal fashion. But obviously, the fun in this is not the regular writing, but is the, the elasticity. I had to think for a second on how to pronounce that in English, sorry. That was really weird. Anyway, hello. As you can see, there is quite some spring to this, which is, of course, what makes it special. It has those cutouts, supposed to add flex, and it works well. Now, something I really like is that you can see it bounces back very quickly, so it gets to a very nice thin line quickly, uh, which is nice if you want to do a fancy version of your name, for example. And obviously I, I suck at flex writing, but you get the point. Someone is snickering in the background. I was snickering. Okay. Anyway, then we have this, which is a, um, um, a fine medium. Soft medium. Sorry. So here we have a soft medium. Me medium, yeah. yeah. I think I miss a thing there. Anyway, soft medium, you get the point. So this does not have those cutouts, and yet it is still a bit flexy. So also quite feedbacky. It is a Japanese nib, so I think here the rule applies that a medium is more like a Western fine. But what we want to see, of course, here is the line variation. So this is not as elastic. And I'm pushing it quite a bit there. You see you do get some line variation, but it is not as easy to make this nib flex as it is with the elastic cutout. Nevertheless, you do still get quite some line variation. You just need to push a little harder, which some people really enjoy. Some people don't like an ultra soft nib that, that flexes as soon as you put just a little bit of pressure on it. So for some people that might be nicer. Then we have a medium. This medium, very simple, just a regular medium. I, I do really enjoy the, uh, the two-tone color there, by the way. Let me just dip that quickly just to be sure it's inked. Okay, so here we have a regular medium. Medi, I think I've messed that up again. Me medi, medium. Is spelling hard? Yeah, spelling is hard. Notice the continuous barrage of offensive uh, uh, stuff I have to put up with. Um, this I find the least pleasant of the nibs. I find it very feedbacky, and because it's so hard. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really bounce and that, that makes it a bit more feedbacky, I think. Still, of course, there is a little bit of variation to be had. They are gold nibs. Um, 
that doesn't really mean anything. They're also very rigid gold nibs, but I mean there is definitely some some spring to it. But here you really see the progression from very soft to soft but requires some pressure to pretty rigid. And that's nice too if you want regular writing without line variation. But of course the writing will become a little bit less uh, characteristic, less, less, uh, yeah, interesting. A broad. I like broads. Yes, Lord Windermere, but we didn't ask you. Thank you. Um, here we have a broad. Did I put ink there? No, just condensation. A broad. I definitely have mediums that, that write like this. Also, quite rigid. There's also double broad, that's not in this tester set. I have reviewed one that was uh, lent to me by the Sakura Fountain Pen Gallery, should you be interested. Uh, so check out my website for Nikaya reviews and you'll find the double broad nib. You see there isn't that much line variation here. Uh, can you squeeze out a bit? Of course you can, but mm, definitely not as easily as with the soft fine. So here you start to get a really rigid nib with a pretty consistent line variation, I would say. Now the final nib that we have is something very interesting. I'm going to put that in the middle there because I've run out of space, because I write too largely. This is a very interesting nib, a music nib. And this is one of the music nibs uh, that has three tines, two slits, two breather holes, and I assume a special feed. Um, basically a stub and probably my favorite in the set. I don't really care for flex this much, that much, because I don't really use it in my handwriting. Uh, so this I, I really enjoy. It's also pretty smooth. And it doesn't need to be flexible, it's just the, the stubbiness of course that adds some character to your handwriting. A good music nib should also write perpendicular to the paper, which it does, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now as to softness, line variation, just a tiny bit, but barely noticeable. But of course because of the shape of the nib you already get that line variation, so you don't really need it. So there you have it. High resolution pictures of the writing sample uh, and the nibs, I suppose, will be on the website, sbrebrown.com. A very kind thank you to Iwana Cell for lending me the pens. I think this is interesting because, as I said, there aren't that many stores, at least where I live, that have Nakaya in stock where you can try out all these nibs. So it's nice to just see them and, and, and experience them. So I hope this was useful. I hope this can help you decide a bit on, on what you want. And that's all there's to it. I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye.